This is the Adventure Force Metal Racer, and this is the treadmill we will be driving it on to see just how fast it is. And just to let you guys know, there's probably going to be a crash. Now, if this thing does crash, which it probably will, I set up this table here so it can go right into it. Now, this is one mile per hour. As you can see, the car can go one mile per hour easily, but we'll be going faster and faster until the point when it crashes into that wall back there. Well, technically a table on its side, same thing. Now let's go to two miles per hour. All right, as you can see, still not a problem. That was a little bit faster though, that scares me. Three miles per hour. I would do it like this the whole time, but you know, that takes out the fun of it. We want to crash. So as you can see, it's getting a bit faster and the car is a little more shakier and uncontrollable, but it can still do three miles per hour. Now, four miles per hour is starting to get into the faster speeds. There's probably gonna be a crash here in a second, but let's do four miles per hour. Okay, so right off the bat, as you can see, it's getting quite a bit faster. Oh no, but so uncontrollable. But hey, it's doing it. Oh shoot, no. <laughs> now you saw what happened at four. Let's do five miles per hour. Oh no, I can see it already. Hey, it's do oh. Oh shoot! So it was able to do five miles per hour, barely, and we had a crash, nothing's broken, but let's do six. This is probably gonna be a bad crash. Oh boy, here we go. Let's see if it can do it. Oh, oh no. Oh, it's doing it, it's doing it. Oh, oh man. So it looks like six or around six is the limit, because as you can see, it crashed. Still nothing broken, I don't know how, but we are actually gonna go all the way up to 10 miles per hour. Definitely not gonna be able to do 10, but this is gonna be a ridiculous crash. All right, seven miles per hour. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Wait, it's doing seven. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I'm actually really surprised that this can go seven. This actually goes faster than when I did this test before, somewhere up there. All right, eight miles per hour. Yeah, oh no, oh. Yeah, it's already falling behind. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh, it had first. You guessed it, nine miles per hour. Oh, oh no, I'm already losing control of it. Oh, oh, oh shoot. So this is a minor thing, but as you can see, the tire actually uh, came out of its rim. I'll go ahead and fix this and go ahead and do 10 miles per hour. And just a fair warning, this might be the end of this car, but let's find out. I'm actually kind of nervous for this. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my, God. Uh, no, I'm holding it, I'm holding it. Oh! <laughs> no, I'm actually really surprised this thing held up for everything. The only thing that happened is the tire popped out. Now it is possible that some of the internals could have broken. So in another video here soon, I'm going to take this apart and see if anything broke in there. Now I think this is the best RC car you can get for under $15. I mean, it crashed into that table multiple times and never broke. This also has some decent speed to it. Now there are also a lot more reasons right here. And that will be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay awesome out there. Peace.